Song Shroom Mars. Hi all and welcome back to my ongoing let's play of Sea of Stars. We are in the marches and we will continue pushing forward but before we do, I just wanted to say that if you are enjoying the channel or the let's play, I would love it if you hit those like and subscribe buttons. And for those of you who just did, thank you very much and for the rest of you, it's super cool to tag along for this adventure anyway of course. And as per usual, during gameplay I will only be reading information and dialogue. Clockwork Castle. Valer, it won't budge. Found one cog prototype. Teeks might get a story from this. What Jumara said to Rishan, what did she mean? The acolytes are probably watching. Don't let your guard down. Jumara's pair was unreal. Living glass. Oh, you found a new artifact. Let's see here. New story unlocked, the Clockwork Castle. Hey, wanna hear a story? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
When Ephoril first arrived in our realm, he brought with him a group of kid geniuses. If stories are to be believed, Kale and his friends had struck a deal with him to free their people. In the Fleshmancer's new base of operations, they would toil away creating machines for obscure uses in realms unknown. But such a base had yet to be built, so as always, Aphoril set out to locate the best collaborator who was to be found. He needed someone morally neutral, for it was execution he desired, not competition. With this new lair, he would prove himself superior to Rishan by building a castle that would control time within itself. The watchmaker was the perfect fit. He was only interested in her craft and otherwise had no interest in Ephraim's machinations. All she asked for in return was a workshop of her own, where she could be left to her devices. The deal was struck and together they designed the Clockwork Castle. The watchmaker began drafting schematics for the kids to start produ production on, while she'd handle the more intricate parts herself. Meanwhile, Ephraim enchanted countless cogs and bricks, giving them an aura of magic that none could understand. Construction was almost complete when Kale and his crew made their move. One night, they flipped exactly the right cogs so that once the castle's perpetual movement was activated, its core function would backfire. They had no goal in mind other than foiling the Fleshmancer's plans, and in that respect, they'd succeeded resoundingly. What came of the sabotage was that time now came to a halt within the Clockwork Castle, or rather, within its inhabitants. And they had played their trick so well that Aphril didn't even know they'd done it on purpose. There would be no impressing Rashawn this time, but he could definitely see some upsides to a workshop that operated forever. As a final touch, he ensured that any mortal leaving the castle would see themselves age instantly by the amount of time they'd spent inside. Upon completion, Aphril locked everyone inside for a century ensuring that the watchmaker and the children could never leave, lest they die instantly of old age. The watchmaker thought nothing of it, and relished the opportunity to focus on her craft for an eternity. Yet in this time prison, Kale and his friends would have to work day and night. Proud of having done the right thing, it seems they are at peace with their situation. Perhaps getting to be kids forever helps, in a way. From day one, they would always deliver, while adding just the right amount of breakage to give the flesh master countless headaches without raising suspicion. One can only feel gratitude when contemplating the suffering that's been delayed or even prevented thanks to their cunning game of wasting Aphrol's time. The end. The Clockwork Castle. We made it. The Dweller of Strife is somewhere in there. You! Arlena, we are bound by oath not to let you enter the Acolyte's headquarters. And what about your oath as Solstice Warriors? That one was not taken willingly. Valer, please hear me out. Step aside right now. Stick to the plan, Brugaus. The Dweller will knock some sense into them. Hmm. Fine. We only need to buy some time. Please sail. Surrender. Forget it. Then it brings me no joy, but we must ensure the Acolytes finish the waking ritual. Do your worst. Bring it. 
Um, hey, I think we should sit this one out. Hmm.
should be enough. You can still join us if... Get lost! Don't you dare! Ah. Let's go, Brugovs. Found one sturdy cog. Could power a gigantic clock and probably did.
found one garden key. Garden key. A familiar form of magic emanates from under, from the under the blanket. Hammer, have to keep working, talk to Kale. Toe, if you need anything, you should talk to Kale. will do. I can't wait to see their faces. <laughs> oh, visitors. Carl, nice to meet you. My name is Carl and these are my friends, Valer, Sale, Sarai and Rishan. Hello everyone, I'm Kale. I hope it's not rude to ask, but Are you human? Pretty wrinkly for a kid, huh? Um, that's because my friends and I have been 10 years old for a very long time. What do you mean? Time. What about it? It doesn't pass within this castle, or rather, it doesn't pass within the bodies of its residents. We can't die of natural causes, but we must remain here always. This time prison has been our home for centuries. If we were to leave, we would instantly age and die. So that's the gist of it. Whoa, that's grim. It's okay, we like it here. Plus, we get to be kids forever. How cool is that? Even though making machines for the bad guys ain't exactly our preference, it sure beats the alternative. Hmm. 
And what's the alternative? Ask the assassin. <gasps> huh? Anyway, what brings you here? We came to confront the Acolytes and take down the Dweller of Strife. Oh yeah? For that, you would have to get through that big door leading to the ritual room. But in order to do that, you will need to fetch the Watchmaker's Master Key atop the Clock Tower. And in order to do that, you will need to break the Magic Seal on the door leading to the Clock Tower. So you're out of luck. And what makes you think you can take on a Dweller anyway? Valerian Sail are Solstice Warriors. Really? Prove it! Bring the Knight! Uh, watch this. No way! Did you see that? Valer, was it? Come here, please. Now, touch this crystal with your palm. It worked! Hale, you're a genius! What was that? The proof that Eclipse magic can be catalyzed. The implications are beyond words. Does this mean you can help? Yes, this experiment changes everything. We have a device that can help you against the Dweller of Strife. You can enter the clock tower now. Just need to get the master key while we finish our preparations. The acolytes are in for a surprise. Haha! <laughs> That was so cool! I wish I could control the line too. Let's try. Come on, we have to finish preparing this device before they return. Do the thing with us, Kale. Haha, <laughs> okay, but just for a little bit. I think this is a great place to end off the part. I see you in the next one. Thank you all for following along in my Sea of Stars adventure. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. I would love it if you hit those like and subscribe buttons and if I saw you again in the next part. But for now, it is time to say bye bye.